Hello UI Path experts, welcome to the UI Path Data Learner channel. So today we will see about the break and continue these two activities. So why we have to use, where we have to use basically. So these two are used in the looping statements. It's not like a do while, why you want to use these two, but you can use this uh, continue and break activities only in the uh, for each and for, for, for each loop, okay, for each row and for each. Uh, uh, loops okay so scenario just uh, take you on uh, excel excel has a lot of students records okay uh, uh, you have to uh, do some processes some some mathematical calculation for the marks or grade uh, in the excel but that is a, a, a exercise but within that you, you anyway you are just taking that into the data table and looping each and every row from that and find the uh, each and every field from each individual student right so but so you want to do the same process total average and grade these calculations only for the candidates who pass the exam not the fail the exam there is a state there is a result column is there within that there is a fail pass you have to ignore the uh, candidates who are fail okay within for that you can use the continue button okay continue activity so for example uh, you are looping each and every activity each and every row from that particular uh, excel data table uh, initially initial step within the for each row or for initial step is so if condition just check whether he is a pass or not if it is a pass equal to pass that is a result equal to pass that result is a column okay pass then use the continue that means it will go to the next it won't do that further process within the body of the forage it go for the next record that is called continue okay? that is called continue so what is a break that is a let's take a, another scenario okay so suppose for example you have to find uh, where is the uh, suppose there is excel there is excel excel has a all the uh, state names okay state names so state and uh, andhra, uh, andhra pradesh kerala karnataka like the states are there so the states are there so in the a column a column so somewhere it is a uh, uh, having the gap okay some uh, suppose for example a10 there is a no value for the a10 you have to find that value once you find that empty cell value you don't want to continue further in that situation you have to use the break so what how, how can we do so we can use the loop statement for each row activity so lo loop each and every otherwise you take a for each okay for each or uh, for each statement so on loop each and every row from that and count increment the i equal to i plus one so you are getting the row uh, row value row number in the i so you have to find the a10 because a10 is the first empty cell okay so for that you are using the if condition if uh, if that uh, get cell so read read cell activity you are just checking the read cell activity that value is empty then use the break that means it won't go for the further records if, if the excel has a 10000 records but the a10 has empty it will return the a10 and it will go down go iteration of the remaining things it will come outside of the version that is the two activities break and continue so if you want to ignore few values use the continue if you want to break if the your corresponding uh, the your value comes required value comes you can use the break statement thanks for subscribe please subscribe if not subscribe okay thank you very much